I basically cried for two days. She spiraled. It was a spiraling. I cried for Hello and welcome back. How are you guys doing? This video is shot in 4K. That is Ethan crying in the back. So this is the first time I shoot in 4K because normally I don't because the autofocus is weird on 4K but I think I figured it out. Anyway, so if you think I look better in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> so this week's video on Natalie and Alfred sitting in a tree is about what Natalie? I have no idea. Okay, this week's video uh, we thought we would speak about everything doesn't work out the way you plan it to work out. Everything isn't smooth sailing. So like, I also, I hate to give the impression because on the internet all the time people will tell you, oh no, search for your dreams, jump. Oh, it's, they never really speak through the detail of failure in between winning. Because you're not just going to win. So Natalie started her online business. Everything went well for a very while, for a while there. And for the first time, she ran into some difficulty. For the first time there was tears. And there was, I don't want to do this anymore. It was very emo, very emotional. <laughs> then I had to sort of speak off the ledge a little bit. And it's not because uh, I'm special. It's just because I've been through these things before. In my industry, man, there are way more failures than wins. That's why the wins are so special. You know what I mean? So tell us what happened to you, Natalie. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go into deep detail now. No, you don't have to go to deep detail. Just but, tell um, me. No, it just, I, it was, it was a huge thing for me because, yeah, I, I the worked, first big I worked mess. so hard to try and make a success and then like a third party kind of puts a brick wall in front of you and you have nowhere to go. And that brick wall is still sort of standing in front of me as we speak, but I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to fix You'll it. You'll find a way, the, the problem's anyway, fixed. Anyway, I, um. Yeah, so I sent out like a whole lot of parcels over the last two weeks and somehow um, the courier that I've chosen um, for these parcels, which I choose, I have many couriers who help me, but the one courier um, messed up with the parcels and like 52 parcels got lost and that kind of meant that I was, because all in all I was thinking in my head was, oh my god, I just, I'm going to disappoint 52 customers and they're never going to want to do business with me again and they're never going to buy from me again and I lost all that money, what if this courier company doesn't find the parcels, I'm going to lose the money and I worked so hard for it and I basically cried for two days. She spiraled, it was a spiraling. I cried for two days and then yesterday morning I was basically, I don't want to do this anymore because really I think it was... I think it also had a lot to do with embarrassment. Embarrassment that I failed these people and I was trying to I was trying I was trying to make it work. So let me just speak on this. So to make a long story short, we shipped off 52 parcels because it was Father's Day, so people bought my Mama Marka biscuit cups and bought clothes from Natalie that all went to a courier which People choose the courier themselves and completely outside of Natalie's control that courier messed up and lost those 52 parcels. Natalie calls in tears so this is what happened. Then we found that they found the parcels they were very nice about it unfortunately it's gonna take three or four days now to deliver it but it's probably being delivered as we speak. The problem was solved there's nothing she could have done about it but what I tried to I'm trying to say and what I want to say in this video is that it's never easy that's why it's not easy to have a business it does not just work out in life it is not a rom-com there is it, you have to make it work and the only time you fail at things is when you stop is when you quit the reality of it is things will happen places burn down things don't get shipped in time this is the nature of business in my career way more things have gone wrong than has gone right but because you stay in it and then you see me on TV and then you see me like the YouTube channel is starting to work people don't see the eight years of just toiling and failing and embarrassment and with this YouTube channel the first couple of videos shot them didn't work out those things happen and 
that is the reality of it and you know you just gotta sort of pull up your my friend always says pull up your big girl panties and move on and get along with it that is a very small thing that happened with natalie but i can guarantee well it was a big thing for me yes but I, what i'm trying to get to and, I, and i'm not diminishing your feelings i'm just saying that there will be more and yeah. you can't throw the baby out with the bath with it because that was one little glitch all 52 people are gonna get their stuff everyone's getting their stuff and it's gonna be a day or two late literally and it's fine and also going forward now we know how to deal with those kinds of things we don't use that supplier anymore or we don't you know what i mean we can move and navigate around it but the yeah, point just is just a different way to use it yeah yeah just the point is is that you fix you don't yeah you have to fix and things on i i yeah i guess also i didn't know how to fix it you know on monday i didn't i didn't know how to fix it i didn't know what to do how am i going to get but that is most barum papa yes the oracle hey 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 and all through this time of it's like you will find the puzzles just find them no 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 is it you know so i don't want to do this anymore and the weird thing is when natalie called and eventually they got to the person that was in charge of everything it was a person that watches this channel all the time so one of our fans came to the rescue and fixed the problem and now it's all good but for all of those young guys out there and for all of those people that are starting a new business out there it's not easy it's not but you this... can't give up yeah that's, you can't that's that's what that all i can you know what natalie did you can't give up you know what natalie did she made a cake beautiful cake tasted delicious and the there was a uh, one candle missing and then she wanted to throw the whole cake in the bin <laughs> cuz you know it was such a small thing i know it's big for you at the time because you wanted to be so perfect but you know these things happen and i'm speaking very briefly but i have had my moments where i go what the hell i'm done with us Ik ga nou huis toe naar mama toe. <laughs> Die rivier is vol met tranen. Dat is wel funny. Let me try and find the day's business because I have not forgotten about supporting local businesses. It has just been chaos. So let's look, Natalie. The day's business is. You need to be prepared. You see, I help and I help. Preparation is key. I am a I'm a giver. Maar dit is wat ek kry. Here we go. Okay. So, today's business is Good afternoon, Alfred Adrian. Hope you and your family are well. I saw the recent video about your about businesses and promoting them, and she wants to promote her own business. Her name is Priska Klut. Or was it Priska Klut? I can not see. It's we call it we we'll call it Priska Klut. I'm a bag and wallet designer. We use leather and African fabrics which are sourced locally this is our web page it's called www.coupecouture.co.za coupe spelled c o u p e c o u t u r e dot coza people can reach us on social media and on facebook on the coupe and couture quality bespoke bags so uh, that is the business of the week if you need a quality bespoke fancy bag uh, please call priska Ek hoop Priska ek het die regte naam gebruik because jy weet Priska Kloot net ou and then you know when you moved up in the world and you are Priska Kloot. I've seen those things. Anyway, I'm just kidding. All the best. Go to her webpage coopkatoa.co.za and I will see you guys next week and that will you see you then next week. Mhm. Or maybe less yet. Not quite sure about that. Natalie's got a lot of glitter on her face because she decided to get a mask with glitter on it. No, it's shiny. Shine, shine the light.